flint and steel is just a simple way to, it's uh, primitive, it's, it's not as old as like friction fire, bow drill fires and stuff that we do, but um, it is a still considered a primitive fire making technique. And so what I've got here is I've got a little container here that's got uh, char material in it. I've got two flint or two steels and some rocks that we're going to strike. With. Now, we're going to talk about all of these in just a second. Let me get everything out. That's good. All right. Yeah, it will be. Hey. Hey, say hey to YouTube, everyone. Hey, Facebook. Hi. Hey. Facebook, that's YouTube. Oh, hey, hey YouTube. You remember the uh, ferro rod? This ferro rod throws sparks that are really hot. They're like 3,000 to 5,000 degrees. And we can light that pine straw right there on fire with the ferro rod sparks. Okay, we've proven that. We can take that fat lighter down there and strike sparks on the shavings of that and get a fire. But, see, these, throw, these, these sparks coming off of here are about 3,500, 5,000 degrees. So they're really hot. But that's not a primitive fire making tool. That's more of a modern tool. This, though, is a, a primitive fire starting tool. These, this is just a piece of steel that's been curved. It kind of fits your hand a little better than just a straight piece of steel. But this steel right here, let's talk about the science behind this flint and steel fire, okay? Now, watch this. I'm gonna throw some sparks off of this steel. Y'all see the sparks coming off? Those sparks, how hot do you think they are? 500? No. A little bit hotter than that, around 800 degrees probably. So if one of these sparks, one of these little sparks hits my hand, you'll feel it heat, but it's not gonna burn a hole in your skin. This ferro rod, on the other hand, it's gonna burn a hole in your skin. So. Um, yeah, that's why it will burn that pine straw just the way it is right now, the ferro rod. This, I can do that all day, and I'm not going to get a fire going, okay, with this flint and steel, because the sparks aren't hot enough. But, let's talk about the science of what's causing this to happen. Um, so, I've got a piece of steel right here in my hand, and when I hit this, when I hit this, I see sparks come off. And one hit me right there. I can feel it was warm. It didn't burn me. Catch you on fire? All right, so this right here is, I'm just creating sparks, but what's causing the sparks? Combustion. Combustion. Huh? Fuel. Oxygen. Fuel. Friction. Okay, we're causing friction here, but we're rubbing the stone and the steel together, and what's happening, actually, oh, is some little... Of those, some of those... Um, little pieces of dust is hitting the oxygen and then the steel, it makes the fire. That's exactly right. Did you hear what you said? So I'm scraping little pieces of steel off of this piece of metal right here. And so when those when those strike off, they're little bitty pieces. When they come off of there, they hit oxygen in our air and they oxidize really, really quickly. Now, Char cloth out of here. And we'll see if we can't get one of these little sparks to land on this. Now, this right here is a pair of my old blue jeans. Trying to tear that apart. Yeah. You're not gonna tear it apart. You're just not. Okay, that's not gonna tear apart. Now take that charred piece of blue jean and tear it apart. See how fragile it is? She's very strong. <laughs> she is. She's very strong. So what happened is I put some of this material, this blue jean material, in here, close it up. And I put it in a heat source, fire, and I let it burn. And I've got a little hole in the top of this can that the smoke and the gases from that charred material will start coming out of there. And if it gets in contact with flame, it'll actually burn like a candle. So, um, what are we doing to create this? What does it take, first off, for fire to happen? What are the, what's the fire triangle? Oxygen, fuel, and heat. Good. So we're going to create some uh, a fire down here in the pit in just a minute. We're going to put our loaded uh, char tins in there and let them char. So when, when, how do we know when it's done? When all of the smoke or the gases escaping, when they stop. We now have something called charred cloth. Okay? Uh -oh. All right, so we'll take this piece of char cloth and see if we can't get a get a spark to fall on it. 
and once, and you're going to do this in just a minute, but once you get a spark of catch on there, you'll see it start to glow, especially in the shade. And this is how it is. Look, for one strike, we've got one. Y'all, everybody see that? That's how easy this char cloth catches a, a spark. Now, it won't do it on the blue jeans, but it will on this charred material. So now, once we do that, we're going to take our char material, and it'll burn your fingers um, if you don't get it in this nest right here real quick. So you got to get it in there. And then once we get that, it's just like the friction fire embers that we create. We can start blowing it. Until we've got the flame. Okay. Now we're not going to put this one out. We're going to put it in the fire pit with some fat lighter. And we're going to get us a fire going so we can make some charcoal. Y'all come over here. We'll show the folks on YouTube what we're doing. Facebook? This, Facebook Live? It's not Facebook. It's YouTube. It's Facebook Live? YouTube. <laughs> so, and by the way, I edit stuff on my videos, so this may not make it. All right, so here's the motion. You especially need to watch this because, um, so you're going to find a real sharp edge on your rock, or, or it doesn't have to be flint. It can be quartz, anything that's sharp enough to scrape metal off. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm holding it like this, not sideways. I don't want to hold it sideways because I'm just going to dull this blade, I mean the blade of my, my rock. So I'm going to hold it up a little angle a little bit, and right here I'm doing a full strike, just like that. And I'm barely touching it, but once you get used to doing this, you'll be able to hit it harder and get those sparks to come off every time, okay? And it's with your wrist motion mostly. You, some people hold it all the way in their hand like that. I don't like to do it that way because I like to get my wrist action involved. So right there, you see the sparks, can, can you see that? That's what you're going to do. You try that. Let me hold your chart in. Oh, you need that, don't you? Find you a good sharp edge on that on that rock. You right-handed or left-handed? Okay. Are you right-handed? Oh, you're strong. You're strong. <laughs> All right. Then this, yeah, there you go. I would hold that in the right hand. Now, you're going to strike what edge? Where's your target? Right there? Okay, good. So let's see if you can get a spark off of there. you got to hit a little harder than that. Good. Good, dude. There you go. Now, and, wait, wait. Let me show you something. Right here. Yo, what I would do is I would hold it with these Mr. two Walker. fingers Mr. in my Walker. thumb. Mr. Walker. Like Mr. Walker. Oh, we got a pine saw. Hey. We'll put that out. Save that. This is, this is good. Okay, this good. is good practice, Caitlin. Come on. Come on. Put that down there. Oh, we got a good wind on this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it. Now, turn this up. And you, yeah, turn this up. Turn that that way just a bit. All right, now, hit it harder. I feel like I'm gonna miss. Yeah, you may. You may, and that's fine. I already did. Oh, you got hey, sparks. Asleep. That's what you're doing. But now, try to keep this, instead of being flat on the rock, kind of up and down so you can get the full scrape of metal off of there. Okay? Okay, Katie, let's put yours in. Now, I'm gonna load some in mine with that hole in it so that you can see um, what it looks like with the smoke. I mean, the uh, gas is coming out. Who else has got some? You ready? Set right there. Just put it in there. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. Y'all see my char tin right there? You see the gas coming out? Yeah. Watch. Now that's, it looks like smoke, but it's actually gas that's coming out. Let's see if we can't get it to ignite. There it is. You see the little candle on it now? Yeah, they look cool. That doesn't look so cool. So, that's Fine. the gases that are created are flammable. Yeah, Highly cold. flammable. Okay? So, there we go. Now, when that stops flaming and any smoke stops coming out, then we're ready to go. It's trial and error. Now, if the wind's blowing directly into it, flame, those sparks are going to go everywhere. So, let's try and block your wind off a little bit. Try that. Now, look, look. look oh, this thing has breaking. to be up so it'll scrape. This edge is kind of dull now. So, uh, let's try this, this edge right here. Okay? Let's try scraping on that edge. So, we're going to get our char material right up there. Okay? There you go. That's good. That right might do there. it right there. Move your thumb over. There you go. Try that. Harder. There you go. Good. You got some. Blow it. 
There you go. You see it? I did okay, it. Okay, good. Now, all right, take that over there. Not and uh, you get your little. Thank you for getting that ready for. It. Now put that in there. Hot and ready. Hey. Wrap it up like a little baby. All right, hold it up. Hold it up and blow it. And blow it. That's it. Blow it a little harder. Harder. Come on. Right. You go, you're about there. Good job, girl. Blow it harder. Long breaths. There it is. Excellent. Okay. All right. Hey. Put that in the fire pit. Be careful with your hair. Excellent. All right. There you go. Okay, good. Harder. Look like this. Hold your rock straighter up and down. You gotta hit it hard. Oh, right you got there. it. You got it. All right. Transfer it into your tender bundle. Nicely done. Blow that. Let me see. Yeah, you got a good one. All right. Put it in there. Wrap it up. Yep. Just set that down. Excellent. Hold it up. Hold it up high so it doesn't get in your face. Turn so the smoke doesn't get you either. There you go. Smoke's blowing right in your face. There you go. That's it. Blow it a little harder. Get it, get it good and hot. It'll come into a flame. Long, deep breaths, girl. Long, deep breath. Right there. That's it. Perfect. Oh, All right, that's close. That was, that was close. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. That'll be fine. It's just pine straw. It will. It'll be fine. It'll be good change. What? It'll be good change. Grab it and then. Just dump that thing in there. There you go, buddy. Thank you, Quavis.